Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom. Thanks so much for joining us on Ludicrous Feed today. The question on the table this morning is, is the Powerwall app accurate? And to work this out, I did some meter readings to correlate with my Powerwall 2 app data and see whether the two, uh, you know, correlated and matched up. So the Powerwall 2 app, for those of you who own Powerwalls, will know that it's extremely addictive. We kind of rely on this data pretty much every day, if not every hour, right? We look at it, see how much solar we're getting, see how much the grid is not being used, that kind of thing. So I looked at some data from yesterday and I took some meter readings before going to work and after going to work. So a period of about, say, eight, nine hours. And I decided to match it up with the Powerwall 2 and see whether it's sort of... Uh, closely correlated. So let's have a look at the Powerwall 2 app side of things first. So the app told me yesterday that the house used 13.8 kilowatt hours in that 8 to 9 hour period. Uh, I've got the pool pump running, I've got the hot water system running, I think my wife might have used uh, a couple of things at home as well. So most of it, as you can see, came from solar. Um, in fact, most came from solar, a little bit came from the Powerwall 2 in the morning, uh, and the tiny bit came from the grid. From the grid side of things, it told me that the grid supplied my home 0.1 kilowatt hours and uh, we uh, supplied to the grid by export 15.4 kilowatt hours, as you can see denoted by that nice grey bar under the line. That's a good sign. You're asking me why do I use anything from the grid if most of it's coming from solar? Uh, in a three-phase home, um, as you might have seen from my previous videos, not everything comes from solar um, because only one phase is supplied by solar, the other two phases are supplied by the grid. The power wall two and the solar sort of discharges and um, offsets, it, offsets it by uh, exporting it to the grid so that the net meter can work out the math. Uh, it's not 100% accurate of course, you know, there's always a bit of correction as the gateway is uh, trying to match things up in real time. So just to prove to you I did this, these are my handwritten notes from my, my meter. Uh, let's start on this side now, that's my car charger readings. Not, not applicable for this discussion. Um, let's look down here. Oh, just quickly, the controlled load was essentially zero usage. So you might have seen from my other video that uh, I hooked my hot water system, my heat pump up to my solar panels. So that means that I'm not getting charged for hot water anymore. It's essentially free from the sun. So I sort of confirmed that with my controlled load readings. I ticked it if it was zero usage, so I was happy with that. Let's look at the crux of the information here. So this is what the main meter looks like. Um, in terms of usage, um, in the morning before I left for work, it was 4,031.6. When I came back from work, it was 4,032. So 0.4 kilowatt hours in that time period. Uh, in terms of export, when I left home, it was 1185.3. And when I came back from work, it was 1,200.5. So about 15 odd kilowatt hours that uh, my home or my panels exported to the grid. So how does that match with what the app told me? So let's have a look at the next slide. So this is what it looks like when I compare the two. So the meter, grid usage, 0.4 kilowatt hours. The Powerwall 2 app told me it was 0.1 kilowatt hours. In terms of export, the meter told me that our, they received, well, the grid received 15.2 kilowatt hours. The app told me that we exported 15.4 kilowatt hours. In terms of load, the meter can't tell you that, obviously, but uh, the app told me the house used 13.8 kilowatt hours all up. So, the question remains, is it accurate? Well, on the face of it, I would say yes. Sure, it's 0.3 kilowatt hours difference, but honestly, that's a very small difference. And if you look at the error rate when you compare it to the load, that's you know at about a 2% error rate, or within the margin of error, 2%. And in terms of export, that margin is even less, that's close to 1%. So I'm happy to accept that 1% to 2% error rate. I can safely say that um, I can rely on my Powerwall 2 app on a day-to-day -day basis. I would suggest to you, if you own a Powerwall 2, that you correlate your app with your meter. And just to make sure that everything in your home is set up properly, that the electricians and the installers wired everything correctly, you just don't know, right? But occasionally, people make mistakes, whether uh, it be advertently or inadvertently, and it's best to check for you and your home. Um, that way you're getting the best deal for what you paid for. And just very briefly at the end here, uh, I've only had my new solar panels for the last week. Uh, as you can see, it's made a massive difference. And look at the amount of export that I've been able to get with the new panels just in that last seven days. I know we've had some 
better weather this week uh, compared to last few weeks. But even so, I think, you know, honestly, that's anecdotally pretty good compared to what's been happening with my 3 kilowatt panel system. Now it's 8.4 kilowatt. I'm pretty happy with things so far. And I'll keep you guys up to date as the weeks go on with regards to my solar panels and my microinverter system and how it integrates with my power wall 2 and my home. Alright guys, well thank you very much for watching. Satisfaction. Conclusion. Rely on the app in my situation. Check for your home and your power wall 2. Make sure everything's wired up correctly and make sure you can rely on your app. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Another lovely, beautiful autumn day here in Sydney. So I'm looking forward to more solar uh, energy coming to my home and hopefully exporting to the grid as well. Take care of yourselves. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for supporting Ludicrous Feed. And as always, happy charging. Thanks for watching and thanks for being part of the energy revolution. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. Happy charging!